If he cheated on you, would you give him another shot? Well, we have an open relationship, so... I'm allowed to cheat. No, it's, it's not like that. Like, so wait, what do you mean open? Yeah, you don't know open relationship? That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> Actually, basically, like, we fuck bitches together type shit. Okay. <laughs> so, he can sleep with other women with you? Yeah, with me. Can you sleep with another man? Mm, no. Why can't she get... It's, it's different, bro. Like, we could get into the details, <laughs> like, but it's a lot different, bro. Like, a guy's, bro, like, I could go fuck a girl and then forget who she is the next day. For girls, it's, like, emotional type shit. Like, it's not like girls can just go fuck a guy. It's gonna, like, she's gonna, like, leave a mark on her, like, you know, like... I could go fuck some bitch and never see her again and not care. You know, it's, it's a lot different. Like, to be honest. So, when you see him inside another woman, that doesn't like... No, it hasn't happened yet. So... Well, I'm but... allowed. Huh? I'm allowed to, though. Yeah, but I have to be there. Is that something that you've always been interested in? Or was this, like, just like a discussion? Like established it before we started, like, dating. I was like, okay, like, we could date, cool, but, like, I'm not about to be, like, trapped, bro. We gotta have, like, fun, like... I'm like 19, but I'm not about to do all that bullshit, like, you know? Because most niggas, like, they, they, they could have a girl and she'd be bad, but they're still, like, stressed out because the girl's, like, wasting their, like, time and shit. It's like, oh, I, I would do this, but my girl, like, bro, you sound like a bitch. Like, have fun in life, bro. Who gives a fuck? You know? <laughs> How long you been together? Um, two months. Yeah. What's the most a man has spent on you in one night? Uh, three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Yes. The hell I'm spelling three thousand dollars for? <laughs> a dinner. He bought me a present. Um, he just where we went. Out. Okay, hold on. It's because we went to the club and he bought like a lot of bottles of champagne. Oh no, I'm not talking about that one. Oh. Well, Wait, there's multiple. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking about a specific. So, so where do you, where do you take you? Give me the breakdown of the charges. Where he took me, he took me to Guanajuato City and he did a big surprise for me to give me a promise ring. So he brought me my outfit, he, the hotel, the dinner, and he, he like shut down this whole place for us. Was this your man? Yes. Oh, so he was your boyfriend. Yeah, he was my boyfriend. Oh, and how long were you together at the time? Three years. Okay. Could you see yourself doing the same thing for him or any other man? Yes. If I'm really in love with him, yes. So why haven't you done it yet? I have done it. Yeah. You have? Yeah. So you spent three grand on, on your man in I one night? more. Yes. She went like a designer and shoes for his birthday and he did like a whole party for him. Uh -huh. How old are you? Oh man, that's personal. You don't ask a lady. No, I'm not. I'm 44. Are you single at 44? Yes, unfortunately. Okay. Newly single at 44. Why do you say newly single? I'm um, going through a divorce. What would you say the hardest thing about going through a divorce at 44 is? Um, trying to figure out how I'm going to start my life again. It's hard. Okay. Yeah. Was the relationship like 10 years plus or? Yes. <laughs> so what's your outlook on going back into the world single? Uh, it's, it's dire. It doesn't look good, <laughs> to be honest. Are you looking for something serious again off the bat? Do you? Okay. No. Why not? not? No. <laughs> There's no way I want to get into another long-term relationship. Do you feel like you lost yourself in the last one, or? Mm, I wouldn't say lo lose myself, uh, per se, but it's definitely trying to find and reconnect who the hell I am. Right. Yeah. So, the men that you're kind of like you envision in your future are they older than you are they younger than you same age oh i i haven't even gotten to that point like i have no idea and what do you think men your age are going for women in your category or younger probably younger yeah and why would that be the case it seems like men want younger i guess less i don't know <laughs> so my question to you is yeah. Do you feel like you're competing with younger women? Sometimes. Yeah. What what makes you not, feel that way? Not that I want like not that I feel like I am competing, but I definitely feel like there's 
it's hard for people my age or older to be single. But I mean, you're, you're a beautiful woman. Couldn't you still go out and get it from anybody at any point in time? I don't feel like I can. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm not really... I don't know. I you don't know, think you I could go to a club person. and pick a guy and be like, Hey, what's up, man? You look, you look pretty good. And he wouldn't be like, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe. But I... I'm just not that type of girl, so I'm a little old-fashioned, and I think that's the problem. Should your husband have any say in how you dress when you leave the house? He used to at the beginning. Uh, so, sometimes no. Sometimes he does that. So what changed? Tell him. Um, I used to give a lot of opinion about that, you know, wear this, don't wear this, show this, don't show this part of your body. Uh, now I am more flexible and she's more conservative now. Okay, so why did you have a problem when she was super revealing coming out as your wife? Why? Because other uh, guys were looking. Because she's a pretty woman and, uh, you know, I want to keep the parts for the family. <laughs> so, back then, why weren't you as conservative? when he, you know, wanted to wanted you to be less revealing? I was not. I'm the same, but he changed. Okay. So you still wear whatever you want, basically? Of course. Yeah. Uh, right kind of, kind of, yeah. But you, I mean, you take but him... He changed a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you do take him into consideration? Yeah, of course. Of course I do. Do you think that's how it should be? That you should work together or you should just do your own thing? No, of course it should work together because it's um, it's it's teamwork. It's not if I do whatever I want and he does whatever he wants, then this is selfishness, and this is not marriage. How old are you guys? I'm 18, okay. and I'm 20. Okay, bet. Um, how long you been together? We've been today, together two years. Two today. years. Yeah. Two years today. Happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. That's sick. That's sick. Should he have any say in the friends that you keep around you? Yeah. Definitely. I feel like you should because maybe there's people I don't notice that is bad for me. There, there are times where I've had friends that are that were terrible for me, and I was very, very ignorant and blind to it. And I would tell him things that would happen, and he would be like, "Oh, baby, but this is happening," and I would, and I wouldn't notice. And after a while, I actually got hurt, and he helped me out of my situation. And so I agree, as long as it's not like, "Oh, you can't, you can't hang out with this person, you can't go out," you get no. Not like that. Not in a toxic way, There's but like give give your advice. Give your yeah. advice. Talk to them. Let them know. I don't like you with this person. I don't feel like this person is correct for you. It's like that, in my opinion. And does the same thing go for him yeah. with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. If, and even if it's like if it's a good relationship, they they're friends or whatever, but you feel like it's being disrespectful towards the relationship. It's like you guys are hanging out just you and him. You know, that's, that's weird for me. I don't rock with that. So it's important to value your partner. Exactly. The person who you're intimate with more so over the friends. Definitely, definitely. If your partnership is your commitment, so you got you really got to commit to it. You got to do things that you wouldn't normally do if you were in love. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Hey, yo. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Y'all are solid. Um, here, pull up on Instagram. I'll show you where you can find it. What is it about men that you uh, that just rouse you up? Mm, there's a lot of things to be honest. Especially when they, I don't know, when they are broke. That that's the most annoying. Oh, you don't like broke men? No. Are you a broke woman? No. Okay, I'm so not. you so you need a guy to match you. Exactly. Okay. But so, nowadays they don't want that. So like, okay. They just want you like to. Buy him, buy them stuff and shit like that. They want you to buy them stuff? Yes, yeah, like, come on. No, I'm not doing that. So you don't want to take care of your man? Yes, if if I really like him and if he's really, like, into me, but not otherwise. So why'd your last relationship end then? Because he was always broke. Yeah. He was always broke? Yeah, and he was always asking me for money. So I was like, no, I how, can't do this. How long was it? Um, we lasted like about a year in our relationship. Was he broke at the beginning too? No. That's what pissed me off. So... He started doing it after, after a couple months. How did he end up broke? Because I broke up with him. 
Wait, how, how do you... He, how he ended up broke, I, yeah. I'm not, I don't know. Because he used to work like every single day. Um, and he never had money, so... Okay. How? I don't know. So then he wouldn't be able to pay for dates anymore. Exactly. exactly. And he wouldn't be he able to... to buy me two dates for me to pay. I'm like, sir, what is that? <laughs> Was he at least trying to get out of it, though, and get better? No. But if he was, you think you would have stuck around with him? Yes. Yeah, probably, yeah. But he used to say, oh, yeah, I'm trying, like, to save up and whatever. But I never see any any um, change. So I was like, no, I can't deal with this. So you want to provide a man? Yes. When y'all go out together, who, who pays? Him. Is there ever a time where you pay? Yes, but he gave yeah. he gave me the money back. Yeah, like I don't have cash, I'm just like pay and I'll give it back. But to be honest, like if you can't pay, you shouldn't have hoes, bro. To be honest. So it's a man's job to like provide for the girl and everything. Hundred percent. So if he's gonna provide for you, and protect you, what do you bring to him? Me. Just you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Would you take him if he just brought himself without any money? Wait, what? Would you take him if he was broke? Mm, maybe. Why is it a maybe and not like a short fire? Mm. I feel like she probably would, but it wouldn't last. Like if I was broke, we're in Miami, there's a hundred rich niggas out here would pay for a girl. So it's like, it, it would work for like a little bit, but not like permanently because the girls have like hella options and shit so it's more about the money for you than it is no. the guy no, no, no. not really no i'm just saying like no girl wants a broke ass nigga in miami bro to be honest like and no guy wants a or what no guy i don't like city girls and shit bro like all that jt shit shit's trash bro like i saw a picture on instagram yeah and it was like JT spotted with like Ice Spice, I mean Uzi spotted with like Ice Spice or some shit and then the girl was like, oh I feel so bad for JT, I respond like, I don't, she deserves that shit bro, like <laughs> who the fuck is gonna be loyal to a city girl? Right. Like, How old are you? 24. 24. Okay. And where are you ladies from? San Diego. Tijuana. Where? Tijuana next to San Diego. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about dating at 24? It's about that we're like sometimes immature and also me that I'm into business like it's difficult to find mature guys at my age that want something like stable and want to like grow together you know like in a positive way because I feel like most of them are like super mature they go to parties and things like that so like I think that's a but but you're going out to the club tonight aren't you oh, we're going to, we're going dinner we're going for dinner and also there's no loyalty so yeah so well, what? i don't believe that too much okay. it's about mentality i feel like there's good guys out there yeah so why do you feel like so many men don't want to commit and there's a lack of loyalty i feel like they don't want to commit to something serious because they just want to have fun and not take anyone serious so, i think it's because of the age so are you looking for like your life partner for the rest of your life right now no not I'm right not, now I'm just focus on myself like if the right person comes, mm -hmm. then I'm down to it. Okay. And I think it's going to like develop in a way, you know, that you say like, okay, I want this person in my life. So you just want something to happen naturally. Yeah. You don't want the man to come up to you and be like, hey, look, I want you to be my wife. Let's really do this. It depends. Depends. Like if, you, you, if you're in a relationship <laughs> and you see like a lot of green flags, then yeah. Yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve about each other? It's from my plate and this is annoying. And sometimes when he wakes up, he wakes me up in the morning. This is annoying because I don't work, and he does. Okay, so he covers all the bills at home? Yeah, he does. Has it been like that throughout the whole relationship? Yeah. Okay. So, if he's bringing everything monetary, what do you bring as the, as the woman? What's the question? If he covers everything monetarily-wise, what do you bring to the relationship as his wife? Um, company, all the time. Uh, she brings love, unity, love, happiness, happiness, yeah, a lot. 
Okay. Do you think that if roles were flipped, that you'd still be married to him? Um. Yeah. Okay. Why is that? Uh, because I love him and I like being with him all the time. He's a very good guy. So it was never about the money for you? No. M money is like, um, it's an important thing. Yeah. I will not lie to you, but it's not everything. So if he went broke today, you would hold him down? Of course. Until he is rich again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think I need more time to make sure because when I say it, I say it forever. If you thought that she was cheating on you, should you be able to go through her phone? Of course. I go through her phone all the time. She goes through mine all the time. It, it, it has to be a thing that's not, it's not something that's hidden, bro. If it's a relationship, you know, you guys are one. You know what I mean? So My when y'all are one, y'all need it. You know, your life is like everything that happens in your life. You're like you should tell what's going on so they know. Just just the same thing otherwise, you know. You guys share each other the location? Yeah. Hey, oh, we have everything, bro. Everything you can imagine. <laughs> accounts, everything. Accounts? Accounts, yeah. Like what accounts? Like Instagram. Social media. Yeah, everything. whatever. Like her Instagram's on your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mine's on hers. You don't think that's a little too close for comfort? Uh, not really, bro. Not I mean he's, he's my best friend. If you guys are good with it, if you if you's good with it. I mean, why, why would it be bad? You know? So where do you draw the line between codependence? Um, I feel like in a relationship, it's like since y'all are both one, that's not really such thing as like codependence, you know, like uh, like you're, you're independent and I'm independent. You guys are one, bro. Yeah. So you guys use the bathroom together? Oh man, so, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, that's a little too private, but yeah. <laughs>